Today, we will be testing the HLMA indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar Patreon, and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the HLMA indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 50 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 568 indicators, with 238 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test all these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. Alright, so today's indicator is the HLMA indicator, and you can see it here on screen. And so it really consists of three different kind of components here. So we have these, uh, these crosses here, the kind of dark or light gray i guess i should say the light gray crosses underneath price action and if i scroll back here far enough you can see that they are also above price action but what we are actually looking for is the orange dots running kind of down the middle i guess you could say and so what we are looking for is when price action breaks above that orange line or the orange dots and so when it breaks out to the upside then we are going to go long when it breaks to the downside of it then we are going to go short so that's the setup we're looking for let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this All right, so the first signal that we pick up is a short signal. 
uh, right here you can see that the press section breaks down below the orange dot the orange dots but it just barely breaks down below them uh, unfortunately price action pretty much immediately takes off to the upside which stops us out on that one let's go ahead and continue on All right, so the next signal that we picked up was a short signal right here on this one. We almost had a long signal here, but it didn't quite make the break we we're looking for. But then we pick up the short right here. We get a pretty strong pullback, push back to the upside right there as soon as we would have taken that entry there. And so that one does stop us out. Then we have a, uh, another short right here that we're working on. It hasn't quite played out all the way. I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Realize that I made a slight mistake here when uh, testing this. So let's see. We would have picked up a long right there. So for some reason, I wasn't. I was thinking it was one directional here. Uh, wasn't paying attention to the break back to the other side. So we get a break to the downside. Immediately spikes back to the upside, stopping us out. Then to the downside. Then back to the upside. That one would have gotten us to take profit. We then follow over here. We didn't get anything right there. Pick up the short right here. But then almost immediately we return to the upside there. Stopping us out on that short. Getting us to take profit here on this one. Make sure that we get this right here. What I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part so that way the video doesn't get too long, but I'm just going to double check and get caught up here and then continue on from there. All right, so that's going to put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in selling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon-only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. 
And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested. That comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here everything in focus there and there now that uh got sorted out the testing correctly here uh let's go ahead and count these out and see what we get so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen so we have eighteen trades all together and we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight winning trades. So unfortunately, that is not going to meet the 60% criteria. Uh, this kind of falls victim to the same problem that, <clears throat> excuse me, a standard moving average has in that when we use just a single line uh, as an entry point, uh, when it uh, interacts with price action then we get these moments where price action just bounces up and down um, almost one candle after another on top of that line and creates clusters of losing trades like these and so this uh, pretty much had the same thing happen it would take two three four losing trades and then a winning trade finally once it got the direction correct so Unfortunately, this one is going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here.